안녕하세요. Hello everyone. I'm Ryan. And I'm Daisy. Did you miss us? 
Yes, we missed you too. Anyway, do you remember the words we learned last time? Last time, we learned words about family. Shall we leave it to make sure you remember it well? Abaji. Omani. Hi, Abaji. Hi, Mani. Opa. Hyang. Onni. Duna. Nam dong sing. Yo dong sing. How was it? Do you remember? Okay. Great. I think you are getting better and better. So, today we're going to be learning about Korean numbers. Do you know how to speak numbers in Korean? We call it sutja. 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 Good job. You got it, right? Great. As in the United States, there are two ways to count. For example, first, second, third, or one, two, three. Likewise, in Hangul, they have their own different ways to count numbers. We're going to learn about Chinese character numbers. Those are the words that we will learn today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, Peg. Oh, it's quite difficult, right? That's it. That's okay. We have teacher Grace and Khan, the world's best Korean teacher. Then, let me introduce Grace and Khan. Who is going to teach today? Hello, everyone. I am Khan and Grace. Today's topic is number. Do you know Korean numbers well? There are two numbers in Korean. The first is Chinese character number, and the second is neighbored Korea's number. Each of the two is used differently. And today, we will learn Chinese characters numbers and find out what situation to use. Then let's watch the video first. it you don't know because it's your first time right it's okay you just need to become familiar with numbers through the class so let's read one to ten to get used to it first let's run them in order please repeat after me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well done. As you might have guessed, in English it is 1, 2, 
It's so easy, right? Okay. One more time. 일, 이, 삼, 사, 오, 육, 칠, 팔, 구, 십. Very good. Then let's run one by one. 일 is one. Repeat after me. 일, 일, 일. Next, E is two. Repeat after me. E, E, E. Good. Next, Sam is three. Repeat after me. Sam, Sam, Sam. Next, Sa is four. Repeat after me. Sa, Sa, Sa. Next, O is five. Repeat after me. O, O, O. Good. Next, U is six. Repeat after me. U. You, you. Next, chill is seven. Repeat after me. Chill, chill, chill. Next, pal is eight. Repeat after me. Pal, pal, pal. Next. Who is nine? Repeat after me. Who? 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 Next, ship is ten. Repeat after me. Ship. 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 Excellent. <laughs> Then shall we lead them? One more time in order. Please repeat after me. 일, 이, 삼, 사, 오, 육, 칠, 팔, 구, 십. That's it. Let's sing the song again. This time, were you able to follow it? Follow the song better than before? Yes, very good. Everyone, it's quiz time. time. Let's check your understanding through this quiz. We have six quiz questions. Listen to the pronunciation and grasp the numbers. Question one. There are four options. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. O, O, O. Which of the following is correct? I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one. Yes, 
The correct answer is number 2. O, O, O. Good job. Next. Question 2. 10. 10. 10. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is number 1. 10, 10, 10. Good. Next. Question 3. 일, 일, 일. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is number 4. 일, 일, 일. Next. Question 4. 3, 3, 3. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is number 3. 3, 3, 3. Good. Question 5. E, E, E. Which of the following is the correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is number 4. E, E, E. Good job. Next. Question 6. 8. 8. 8. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes. The correct answer is number 1. 8. 8. Pie. Very good. Did you guess a letter of correct and so? Yes. Good. Then shall we sing along with Chris and Gun? Everyone sing well. Very good. Next, let's learn how to combine the 10 digit with the numbers we just learned. Please repeat after me. 10 20 30 40 50 60, 70, 
80, 90, 100. Good. When you make 10 digits, it is similar in English. In English, if 2 combines with a 10 digit, it is be becomes 20. Likewise, in Korean, if E combines with a 10 digit, it is combined. 20. Then let's run one by one. 10 is 10. We just learned, right? Yes, good. Next. 20 is 20. Repeat after me. 20. 20. 20. Good. Next. 30 is 30. Repeat after me. 30. 30. 30. Next. 40 is 40. Repeat after me. 40. 40. 40. Good job. Next. 50 is 50. Repeat after me. 50. 50. 50. Next. 60 is 60. Repeat after me. 60. 60. 60. Next. 70 is 70. Repeat after me. 70. 70. 70. Next. 80 is 80. Repeat after me. 80. 80. 80. Good. Next, 90 is 90. Repeat after me. 90. 90. 90. Next, 100 is 100. Repeat after me. 100. 100. 100. Well done. Shall we practice once? What is a 50 in Korea? Yes, the correct answer is 50. Right? Let's do it one more time. What is a 90 in Korea? Yes, the correct answer is 90, right? You guys understand? Yes, good. Let's read them in order one more time. Please repeat after me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Excellent. Then let's watch a video. Yeah, it's so easy because you learn numbers through song, right? Yes, very good. Everyone, kid time, time is back. <laughs> Let's check your understanding through the kids. You have six quiz questions. Listen, listen to the pronunciation and guess to the number. 
question one there are four option number one number two number three and number four 30 30 30 which of the following is correct I will give you five seconds five four three two one yes the correct answer is number one 30 30 30 good job next question two 60 60 60 which of the following is correct five four three two one yes the correct answer is number four 60 60 60 very good next question three 90 90 90 which of the following is correct five four three two one yes the correct answer is number four 90 90 90 good next question four ship 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 which of the following is correct five four three two one yes the correct answer is number two ship 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 good job next question five e ship e ship e ship which of the following is correct five four three two one yes the correct answer is number one ship 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 good next question six ship 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 which of the following is correct five four three two one yes the correct answer is number three chill ship chill ship chill ship excellent do you understand a little now? I think it can be difficult for you because it's the first time, right? It's okay if, if you listen to the class and review it. You will be able to get acquired quickly. Now, we are going to learn how to combine the numbers of the tens digit and the numbers of unit digit when using two digit just combine the ten and unit digit if you add one of the unit digit and 70 it becomes 71 Likewise, if you add 1 of the unit this and 70, it becomes 71. For example, if you change 57 to Chinese character number, 
is because 57. Then let's practice what is 83 in Korean. Yes, the correct answer is 83. Good job. Let's do it one more time. What is 45 in Korean? Yes, the correct answer is 45. You guys all understand quickly. Good. Everyone, kitty time is back. Let's check your understanding through the quiz. You have six quiz questions. Let's look at the slide and guess the numbers. Question 1. There are four options. Number 1, number 2, number 3, and number 4. Which of the following is correct? I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number two. 이십팔. 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 Good job. Next. Question 2. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is number 1. 41. 41. 41. Very good. Next, question 3. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is number 3. 12. 12. 12. Good. Next, question 4. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is number 2. 55. 55. 55. Good job. Next. Question 5. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is number 1. 36. 36. 36. Good. Next. Question 6. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes. The correct answer is number 4. 64. 64. 64. Excellent. The next thing to learn is the use of Chinese character numbers. We are going to learn about the use of learn numbers about 인분 and 층 is in Chinese characters. The first is 인분. 인분 is an expression people use to measure the amount of food 
then he will eat. When you sing, is you only need to add 인분 after the after number. Please repeat after me. 인분 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 Good. How to use for example? The first is 인분 인분 is an expression People use the measures the amount of food they will eat When using it, you only need to add 인분 after the number 인분 means serving Please repeat after me 인분 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 Good. How to use for example? Khan, how much meat did we eat yesterday? Prob probably a parimbun. Wow, awesome. This is how this word is used. One more example. Grace, after a while, how too much should I get at the store? Park, e inbun, and let's go. It looks good. This is how this word is used. The second is 층. 층 is an expression used to count the number of plural is a fitting. When using it, you only need to add 층 after the number. 층 means plural. Please repeat after me. 층 층 층 Good. Next. How to use for example, what floor was the Korean hair salon you went to last week? Oh, it was a Korean hair salon. E Chung. Thanks. This is how this word is used. One more example. Grace, did you, did you see the new building? It was really pretty. What store do you have on each floor? Aha! I saw it too. There was a cafe on the 1층 and there was a clothing store on the 2층 and there was a hospital on the 3층 and there was a on the academy on the 4층 This is how this word is used. Now, let's run the fun 31 ice cream game with Grace and Gaon. Before starting the game, I will tell you the rules first. 1. Don't say more than 4 numbers. 2. Drop down when numbers overlap. 3. Whoever said the number 30, 31 lose. Who will win? Let's start right away. Let's decide who will start first with rock, rock scissor, paper. paper. Okay. Rock, scissor, paper. Scissor. Rock, scissor, paper. Oh. I win. Yes. 
I will start first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Eventually, I lost. Many people in Korea know this game. Later, go to Korean and play 31 ice cream games. This time, we will practice the word that we learned from last class today. Look at the English number and connect the correct Hangul numbers. First, Four, which is the correct hunger number? I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is third. Please repeat after me. Sa, sa, sa. Second, three. Which is is the correct hunger numbers? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is the fourth. Please repeat to me. Sam. 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 Next. Third, eight, which is correct hunger number? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is the first. Please repeat after me. Par, par, par. Good job. Next. Fourth, 17. Which is the correct Hangul numbers? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. The correct answer is the second. Please leave it up to me. 17. 17 17 Very good How is it? Is it easy? Then let's make it a little harder Fourth 21 Which is the correct hunger number? I will give you 5 seconds 5 4 Three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is the four. Fourth. Please repeat after me. Isip il. Isip il. Isip il. Good. Next. Second. 94 
which is the correct Hangul numbers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is the third. Please repeat after me. 94. 94. 94. Next. Third. 47. Which is the correct hunger number? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is second. Please repeat after me. 47. 47. 47. Very good. Next. Fourth, 69. Which is the correct Hangul numbers? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is the first. Please repeat after me. 69. 69. 69. Excellent! Please look at the sentence and click select O if it is correct and X if it is incorrect. Chung is an expression people use the measure the amount of food they eat. O or X. I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is X. Chung is an expression used to count the numbers of floor in a building. The expression favor used to measure the amount of food they eat is inbun. Now, we've learned Chinese characters number so far. It is difficult, so it seems that there are some people who cannot follow well. Everyone. Don't give up. As I said in the previous lesson, speed doesn't matter. Direction is important. Read and write over, over, over and over again. And don't forget to live it. Until now, this has been Kaun and Grace. How was it guys? Do you like the cat class? Today, we learn Chinese character numbers. Then, let's leave you what we learn today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. When counting serving, 1인분, 2인분, 3인분, 4인분, 5인분. When counting floor, 1층, 2층, 3층, 4층, 5층. How was it? Do you get it now? Good. Today's homework 
is to write the words you learned today 10 times. How many times? 10 times. And record your voice while reading the Korean numbers, okay? Please refer to the PDF. All right. Next time, we will learn about native Korean number. Really? I can't wait. Do you guys want to learn it too? Then you have to join our class next time. Sounds good. Thank you very much for attending our class. And I'm Ryan. And I'm Daisy. See you next time. Hi everyone, good to see you again. I'm Glenn, mind lecturer for all of you. And this is our fourth video that we've been doing together. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I know I am. It's a lot of fun putting these together. I'm sorry sometimes it takes a while for me to post the new video. It's just that with uh, planning, shooting and editing because I do it all myself, it takes a little bit of time. But hopefully the end result is worth it and you guys are enjoying it. So today we're gonna continue from last week's lesson. Last week we talked about harmful thoughts. We talked about how we look at the symptoms that we have in our life. We trace them back to the source and we find out what thought kind of kicked off those symptoms. And after that, we look for a solution and how to prevent ourselves from falling into that same thought again. Well, today we're gonna to kind of continue on this process. We're gonna talk a little bit about what happens when you actually start tracing back your actions and your feelings to the thought they originated from. And when we do that, we'll find that the thoughts we thought were good, the thoughts we believed to be beneficial for us, weren't always what they seemed. This is today's topic, and to start off, we're going to have our first five, where I'm gonna show you guys a quick video, and I think you'll get a kick out of it. Take a look. Do you feel the helplessness? I'll go. Do you feel the gratitude? <laughs> Let me ask you guys, was that what you expected was gonna happen in the beginning? I'll tell you what, a friend of mine showed me this video a couple weeks ago and totally caught me off guard, right? You see this little old lady, she's all kind, you know, she needs help getting inside. Next thing you know, she's robbing this entire apartment and cleaning it out. I'll tell you what, I don't think anyone would ever suspect her of being a burglar, but that's why she's probably so successful, right? So if you haven't really caught on, the theme today has a lot to do with expectations or what we think versus reality and what actually happens. Let's take a look at some pretty funny expectation versus reality memes that you can find online. And uh, let's just kind of react to these together, okay? All right, so the first one, I think this is a classic. If anyone has ever been to McDonald's or Burger King, the burgers never look like how they look in the pictures, right? This is something that I think we can all identify with. I mean, gosh, that is just sad. But, you know, they have to make it look appetizing for a reason, right? All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, now this is from Subway. Do you guys like Subway? I used to eat Subway when I was in college all the time. But, you know, I don't think I ever had a sandwich that looked as bad as the one on the right. Whoever took this picture, I think they probably were really mean to the employee or something because that is a very bad looking sandwich. All right, let's look at the next one. Okay, this is just horrifying. When I was little, I remember that they used to make these kinds of ice creams, like especially they had the Looney Tunes like Bugs Bunny or Tweety Bird, and it didn't look like it looked like on the box, but this SpongeBob is just horrifying. Like what's happened to his eyes? Like that's terrible. That looks nothing like the box. Okay, I don't even know what they were going for here. This does not look like that panda even one bit. It's not even the same color. Yeah, I can't justify this one. 
here, I mean, you gotta give them, uh, you know, give them at least points for effort. I mean, they got it pretty close. At least the shape is the, sim uh, the same thing, but besides that, I think all the details are lost, right? All right, A for effort though. All right, so that's some about food. Let's look at some other ones. Okay, now this one definitely rings true. Whether you're working from home or going to school from home, I think this is something we can all relate with, right? You want to be super productive. You want to set up your desk and make a cup of coffee or some tea. You want to get your notebook out and your pen and your paper. And you want to be ready to have a productive day. But what ends up actually happening? Well, for me, I end up feeling too tired to really get started with work. And I just want to go back to sleep. How about you guys? Uh, when you have to go to classes through Zoom or through Google Hangouts, like, are you able to actually get through the day productively? Or do you just end up kind of playing games or going on TikTok or whatever? All right, let's take a look at another one. New Year's resolutions. I asked you guys last time if you made any resolutions and I didn't make anything in particular, but I really do like to exercise. But the thing is, you know, when you're just reaching the end of the day and you're tired, it's so much easier just to kick back to watch Netflix, to go to sleep, than it is to actually get off your butt and have to break a sweat and exercise, right? Especially for me, now that I have my baby daughter, it's a lot more work and it's a lot less time. So by the time you're done feeding her, burping her and putting her to sleep, the whole day's already gone. All right, have you guys ever done online shopping before? I've never had an experience this bad. That literally just looks like a bed sheet, okay. And this guy, first of all, I don't know what he was thinking, even getting that shirt on the website. It doesn't even look like a nice shirt to begin with. But whatever he ended up with, the buttons are on the wrong side. It doesn't, the pocket's on the wrong side. That looks terrible. That's awful. Like, that's something you can make in your, like, elementary school class. All right. Just a few expectation versus reality memes. But let me ask you guys. What is your biggest expectation versus reality disappointment that you've had in life? Why don't you guys share with the class, uh, with your teacher, with your friends, or if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, leave a comment down below and tell me what's a big real-time expectation versus reality disappointment you've had. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And this is gonna kind of segue into our main topic for today, which as I said earlier is how when we really look back on a lot of the thoughts that we have, we find that what seemed like a really great thought or a thought that we were sure was true, turns out it was not so great. It turns out it was not true. It turns out it was completely different than what we expected. Hence, expectation versus reality. Now, this is something to really think about because if this happens to us a couple times, then it's gonna kind of change the way we think about uh, how we live our lives and how we follow every impulse or every thought that we get that pops up. So I'm gonna tell you guys a story that I heard recently and I want you to think about this and think about what it means and let's talk about it. So one day, a small boat went out on a voyage into the ocean. When they set off, they packed all the food and all the water and all the supplies that they needed. And there were three guys in this small boat. But as they were going along in their voyage, they ended up running out of supplies. They ate all their food, they drank all their water, and worse yet, they got lost. They didn't know where they were. If they knew where they were, they could quickly go back the way they came, or they could quickly find land and get more supplies. But the thing is, they didn't know where they were. So day by day, as the sun beat down, they started to get sunburned, they started to become hungry, but worst of all, they had no drinking water, so they were super thirsty and super dehydrated. Have you guys ever been really dehydrated before? Like, if you don't drink any water or anything for one day, see what happens. You start to get a headache. You start to feel lightheaded. And if you try to do any physical activity, you feel really weak and you have no energy. Well, that's how these guys were. They were dying of thirst. And as they were on that boat, they were thinking, oh God, if we keep going like this, we're gonna die by tomorrow. All I want is just one glass of water, even one drop of fresh water. They can't drink the salt water in the ocean because if they do, what's gonna happen? Well, first of all, it's not gonna taste good. But second of all, it'll actually speed up the process of them dehydrating and dying even quicker because that water is filled with salt. So the thing is, day by day, they waited and hoped and prayed that somehow they could either be rescued or they would run into land. 
But one day, while they were looking along the horizon of the ocean, they spotted a little speck from far away and they said, hey, you guys, look over there, what is that? And that little speck got closer and closer and closer. And they realized that it was another boat. <gasps> we're saved, it's another boat. And they began to shout out, hey, over here, help, we need help. And they waved their arms and they took their shirt and waved it and spun it in the air, anything they could do to get the attention of this boat. Well, sure enough, that boat from far away must have noticed them because that boat got closer and closer and closer. And do you know what they realized? This wasn't just a small boat. This was a huge ship that must have had a lot of crew members and probably a lot of food and a lot of water. So these three guys thought, we're saved. Yes, this is it. Thank God. So as the boat drew closer, eventually it pulled right up next to the small boat. And then the captain and some of the crewmates came over to the railing of their boat and they were leaning over the railing, looking down at these three men in their small boat. And they said, hey, what's wrong? What do you need? And the three men on the boat said, please, we've had no food and no water for days. We're lost in the ocean and we're dying. Can you give us some water? But contrary to what they expected would happen, the captain and his crewmen, they just started to laugh. They said, what are you talking about? If you're so thirsty, just take your bucket, draw it in the water around you and drink that. You're surrounded by water, all right? Bye. And then the captain and his crewmen got back in their boat and they kept on going along. So these three men in their boat, they were shocked and they were speechless. What the heck is going on? We thought that they were gonna lower down some water so we could drink it and we could survive. Or at least they should tell us like, hey, you know, you're stuck in the middle of the ocean, so we'll give you a compass or just follow us and you can quickly find land. But they didn't do any such thing and they just left. So again, these three guys, their hearts became full of despair, full of hopelessness, and they didn't know what to do. But finally, it got to the point where one of the three was so thirsty, he couldn't bear it anymore. So he took the bucket and he drew it into the water and he was about to drink. The other two guys tried to stop him. Hey, Jim, what are you doing? If you drink that water, you're gonna die of dehydration. But Jim said, I don't care, I'll just die, I'm too thirsty. And he chugged the water of the bucket. But after taking a drink and putting the bucket down, do you know what he said? <gasps> you guys, this isn't salt water, this is fresh water. We're saved, we're saved, we can drink this water. And he started to drink more. The other guys couldn't believe it, but they took their hands, they scooped the water off the side of the boat and they drank and they thought it should surely be salty, but it was fresh. Do you know what happened? Without them knowing it, their boat had wandered into the Amazon River. Now the Amazon River is obviously fresh water, but what you might not know is that in some parts of the river, it's so wide that you can't even see from side to side the land on either side of the river. So you think you're in the ocean and actually you're in fresh water. Needless to say, these guys had plenty of water to drink and they realized that they had come into the river so it was easy for them to navigate and find their way safely so that they could survive and live happy lives after that. You guys, let's think about this story. These three guys had a thought. What was that thought? We are stuck in the middle of the ocean and we cannot drink this salt water because if we do, we'll die even quicker. Now that makes a lot of sense, right? I mean, if you think about where they are and what they can see, they don't see any land around them and they started their voyage off in the ocean. So it makes sense that that's what they would think. And also it makes sense that they would assume that this water is salt water. So if we even try drinking it, it's only gonna kill us faster. So we shouldn't touch it. This thought seems correct. It seems right and it seems true, but was it? No, it wasn't true at all. This thought was actually killing them. But as long as they believe this to be true, they're never going to realize that they're actually surrounded by fresh water and they're actually in the river. The longer they hold on to that thought, the longer they do not question that thought, the likelier it is that their lives are going to end and be very, very miserable. 
But when they realized that that thought wasn't true, what happened? They were able to throw that away. Oh, this isn't the ocean. This isn't salt water. They could drink the fresh water and they could survive. Everyone, the point I want to make here is thoughts, a lot of times they can deceive us. They can look really, really good, but it turns out they're actually really, really bad. At the same time, they can look really, really true when it turns out they weren't true at all. It's an expectation that's completely different from reality. I want you guys to think about your own lives. Did you ever have a thought that you thought was going to be so good if you followed it? It was going to be so good if you believed it. So you dwelled on that thought. You indulged in it. You followed it wherever it took you. This way, that way. But at the end, were you happy like you thought you would be? Were you satisfied? Were you fulfilled? Was your life better? Sometimes, maybe, it did turn out that that thought was right. But many times, as you guys reflect on your lives and your hearts, what are we gonna realize? It wasn't always the case. Thoughts, they can deceive us. They can be completely different from what we thought. And many times it turns out that they weren't true. I want you guys to do some reflection and think about a time in your life where that might have been the case. While you're reflecting on this, I wanna show you guys another example that hopefully uh, illustrates the point even further. Have you guys seen the movie called Inception? It's a very famous movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio. It was directed by Christopher Nolan. He's the same director who made the movies Interstellar and also the, the Dark Knight trilogy about Batman. Hopefully you guys have seen some of these movies. They're really great. I recommend you do if you haven't. Now in Inception, the concept is very, very like out of this world. If you haven't seen it, let me do my best just to explain the groundwork. Basically, in this world that the director has created, the main character, Leonardo DiCaprio, his name is Cobb, he makes a living off of infiltrating the dreams of people. So he'll make someone go to sleep, they'll connect a machine to that person and to him, and then while that person is dreaming, he'll go inside their dream and he'll plant an idea. Now, when this person wakes up, they'll think that this idea is their own because they didn't know that someone jumped into their dream and planted it there. And based off of that idea, they'll do something that Cobb or whoever paid Cobb wants them to do. For example, let's make just a hypothetical example. Let's say I work for McDonald's and I wanna get you to crave a Big Mac, but you don't crave a Big Mac right now, but I want you to. I would meet Cobb and I would tell him, hey, I'll give you $100 if you can make Brenda go to sleep and then infiltrate Brenda's dream and plant the thought that she craves a Big Mac inside of her head. So Cobb will make you sleep, he'll sleep, he'll go inside, plant the idea, and when you wake up, hmm, I really want a Big Mac. That's basically how it works. That's the simplified version, and that's what they call Inception in this movie. In the clip of the movie I'm gonna show you, spoiler alert, okay? This is something that happens near the end of the movie. As Cobb is infiltrating other people's dreams to plant these ideas in their heads, he keeps being met by his wife, and her name is Maud. But the thing is, it's revealed earlier on in the movie that Maud had already died by committing suicide already a long time ago. But she keeps appearing in his dreams, and for some reason Cobb is very guilty about it, and he feels very condemned and very sad, but we don't know why. Finally, in this clip, it's revealed what happened. So let's take what a look. Do you feel? Guilt. I feel guilt, Ma. And no matter what I do, no, no matter how hopeless I am, no matter how confused, that guilt is always there, reminding me of the truth. What truth? That the idea you to question your reality came from me. You planted the idea in my mind. What is she talking about? The reason I knew Inception was possible was because I, I did it to her first. I did it to my own wife. Why? We were lost in here. I knew we needed to escape, but she wouldn't accept it. something away, something, something deep inside.
truth that she had once known, but chose to forget. She could break free. So I decided to search for it. I went deep into the recess of her mind and found that secret place. And I broke in. And I planted an idea. A simple little idea that would change everything. That her world wasn't real. for a train. A train that'll take you far away. You know where you hope this train will take you. But you can't know for sure. And it doesn't matter. Now tell me why. Because you did it again. idea would grow in her mind like a cancer that even after she woke. That even after you came back to reality. That you continue to believe your world wasn't real. That death was the only escape. Oh no! Jesus! You are infecting my mind. I was trying to save you. You betrayed me. But you can make amends. You can still keep your promise. We can still be together. Right here. In the world we built together. Again, if you haven't seen the movie, I'm sorry. There are some spoilers here. But let's reflect on what this means. Now, when you see Maud, the biggest problem that she had was she always felt like she was still living in a dream and that she needed to wake up. Meaning she didn't feel that anything she saw was reality. She thought that she was still asleep and only when she would wake up would she be able to meet reality. But the thing is, even when she actually did come back to the real world with her husband, she still thought she was in a dream. And that is why she ended up killing herself because she thought that was the only way to truly wake up. It's revealed that this thought had a source. Do you guys remember we talked about tracing the symptoms back to the source? Well, this movie shows us really clearly where that thought came from. It was Cobb who actually visited her mind when she was asleep and planted the thought that everything around you is a dream, none of it is real. But he didn't know that this thought would carry on again and again in her life. And that is why she killed herself. If we think about it from Maud's perspective, she thought that everything was a dream and she was so sure of it. But actually, was that thought true? No, it turns out that it wasn't true. But because she couldn't realize that, because she couldn't be freed from that thought, that is why she ended up killing herself. And she left her children, and she left her husband, and she left the world. All because she was trapped by this thought. You guys, certain thoughts may seem like they're going to benefit us, that they're going to take us down a really great path. But the more and more we reflect and the more and more we look back and see what kind of thoughts we've had and what they've made us do or how they've made us feel, what we begin to learn is not every thought is as good as it seems. Not every thought is as true as it seems. And I hope that as we continue this lesson, this will be something that you can continue to think about. Hmm, is this thought really true? Or is this a thought that is deceiving me? And when you start to have your guard up about all the thoughts that come in and come out, it'll help us a lot when it comes to governing our hearts and kind of managing our thought process. That way, we won't always just react with every little thought or impulse that pops up, but we'll have a chance to examine it a little more carefully. Now, I'm going to wrap up the lesson today, but I want to leave you guys with two questions to discuss, okay? With your friends, with your class, or in the comments. Number one, what was a thought that appeared good to you, but was actually harmful. And another way to phrase this is, what was a thought that appeared to be true to you, but was actually false? So I want you guys to kind of reflect on this a little bit. 
let's talk more about thoughts and let's talk more about this thinking process and how thoughts affect our hearts in the next lesson, all right? Until then, everyone stay warm, stay healthy. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Bye. Hello everyone. I'm Ryan. And I'm Daisy. Did you miss us? Yeah, we miss us you too. Do you remember the words we learned last time? Last time we learned words about Chinese character numbers. Shall we leave you it to make sure you remember it well? 일, 이, 삼, 사, 오, 육, 칠, 팔, 구, 십. How was it? Did you, do you remember? Okay, great. I think you are getting better and better. So, today, we are going to learn about native Korean numbers and how to read and when to use them. These are the words that we will learn today. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. 열. 스물, 서른, 마흔, 쉰, 예순, 일흔, 여든, 아흔, 백. Oh, it's quite difficult. That's okay. We have teacher Grace and Khan, the world's best Korean teacher. Then, let me introduce Grace and Khan. Who is going to teach you today? Hello everyone! I am Kaeun and Grace. Did you live it well? Today's topic is native Korean numbers. Today we will learn native Korean numbers and find out what situation to use. Then let's watch a video first. it you don't know because it's your first time right it's okay you just need to become familiar with numbers through the classes so let's read one to ten to get used to it first Let's run them in order. Please repeat after me. 하나 둘셋넷 다섯 여섯 일곱 여덟 아홉 열 Well done. 
as you might have guessed, in English it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, ten. It is so easy, right? Okay. One more time. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. Very good. <laughs> Then let's run one by one this time. Hana is one. Repeat after me. Ha na. Ha na. Ha na. Next, tul is two. Repeat after me. Tul. 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 Good. Next, set is three. Repeat after me. Set. 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 Next, net is four. Repeat after me. Net. 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 Next, tasot is five. Repeat after me. Tasot. 다섯 다섯 Good job! Next, 여섯 is six. Repeat after me. 여섯 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 Next, 일곱 is seven. Repeat after me. 일곱 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 Next, 여덟 is eight. Repeat after me. 여덟 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 Next, 아홉 is nine. Repeat after me. 아홉 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 Next, 열 is ten. Repeat after me. 열, 열, 열. Excellent. Then, shall we read then one more time in order? Please, please repeat after me. 하나, 한, 둘, 두. 셋, 세, 넷, 네, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. That's it. it. Let's sing the song again. 
Let's check your understanding through this quiz. We have six question, six quiz questions. Listen to the pronunciation and guess the numbers. Question one. There are four options. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. Set, set, set. Which of the following is correct? I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number two. Set, set, set. Good job. Next. Question two. Yoder. 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 Which of follow is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number one. Yoder. 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 Good. Next. Question three. Two. 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 Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number four. Two, two, two. Next. Question four. Then. Net. Net. Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number three. Net. 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 Good. Question five. Ha na. Ha na. Ha na. Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number four. Ha na. Ha na. Ha na. Good. Next. Question six. Yer. 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 Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. The correct answer is number one. Yer. 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 Very good. Did you guess a letter correct and so? Yes. Good. From now on, let's learn 10 digits. Please repeat after me. Yer. 스물 서른 마흔 쉰 예순 일흔 여든 아흔 백 Good. Here you might think that hmm? Doesn't it go in the order of 둘열, 셋열, and 넷열? 
but native Korean Korean numbers change in in the different way than numbers in Chinese characters. Then let's run the name names of the dif difference armed numbers one by one. Real is ten. We just learn like yes, good. Next, su mul is twenty. Repeat after me, su mul, su mul, su mul. Good. Next, sudden is. 30. Repeat after me. 서른 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 Good. Next. 마흔 is 40. Repeat after me. 마흔 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 Good. Next, Shin is fifty. Repeat after me. Shin. 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 Next, Yesun is sixty. Repeat after me. Yesun. 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 Next, il hun is seventy. Repeat after me. Il hun. Il hun. Irin. Next, yodun is eighty. Repeat after me. Yodun. Yodun. Good. Next. Ahun is ninety. Repeat after me. Ahun. 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 Next. Pack is one hundred. Repeat after me. Pack. 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 Well done. Shall we practice once? What is a uh, twenty in Korea? Yes, the correct answer is sumul, right? Let's do it one more time. What is a uh, seventy in Korea? Yes. The correct answer is 이른. Good. Good. You guys understand? Yes, good. Let's read them in order one more time. Please repeat after me. 열 스물 서른 마흔 신, 예순, 일흔, 여든, 아흔, 백. Excellent. Everyone, kids time is back. Let's check your understanding through this quiz. We have. Six quiz questions. Listen to the pronunciation and guess to the numbers. Question one. There are four options. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. Ba hun. Ba hun. Ba hun. Which of the co co uh, which of the following is correct? I will give you 
five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number one. Ba hun. Ba hun. Ba hun. Good. Next. Question two. Ah hun. Ah hun. Ah hun. Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number four. Ahun. 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 Very good. Next. Question. Three. Yesun. 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 Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number four. Yesun. Yesun. Yes. Good. Next. Question four. Shin. 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 Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. The correct answer is number Two. Shin. 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 Good job. Next. Question five. So run. So run. So run. Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three. Two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number one. So run. So run. So run. Good. Next. Question six. Yarden. Yarden. Yodun. Which of the following is correct? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number three. Yodun. 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 Excellent. Now, we are going to learn how to combine the numbers of tens digit and the numbers of unit digit. Then, using two digit, just combine to ten and unit digit. If you add one of the unit digit, add twenty. If it becomes twenty-one, Likewise, if you, you add ha na of the unit digit at su bul, it becomes sumur ha na. For example, if you change 57 to native Korean numbers, it becomes shin ilgo. Then, let's practice. What is 40, 46 in Korean? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the correct answer is 마흔여섯. Good job. Let's do it one more time. 
What is 38 in Korean? Yes, the correct answer is 38. Very good. Everyone, kid time is back! <laughs> Let's check your understanding through this quiz. We have six quiz questions. Let's look at the slide and guess the numbers. Question 1. There are four options. Number 1, number 2, number 3, and number 4. Which of, following, which of the following is correct? I will give you 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> yes, the correct answer is number 2. 쉰둘 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 Good job! Next! Question 2 Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Yes, the correct answer is number 1 예순 다섯 예순 다섯 예순 다섯 Very good. Next, question 3. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Yes. The correct answer is number 3. 여든 아홉 여든 아홉 여든 아홉 Good. Next. Question 4. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Yes, the correct answer is number two. Ahun set. Ahun set. Ahun set. Good job. Next. Question five. Which of the following is correct? Five, four, Three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is number one. 스물 하나 스물 하나 스물 하나 Good. Question six. Which of the following is correct? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Yes, the correct answer is number 4 Even that Even that Even that Excellent! Did you get a lot of correct answer? Was it a little difficult? Yes, you did a good job though. You can do it well if you first fight more actively as you do now. The next thing to learn is the use of native Korean numbers. We are going to learn about use of net numbers about Ke and Myung in native Korean. But before you learn to use it, there is something to numbers uh, remembers. There are exceptional numbers in native Korean numbers. Hana 
둘, 셋, 넷. These four numbers become 한, 두, 세, 네. Except for counting them in order. 하나 is 한. 둘 is 두. 셋 is 세. 넷 is 네. Please repeat after me. 하나 한둘두셋셋넷네 끝. One more time. 하나 한둘두셋셋넷 네. Very good. You must memorize it because it is important. Then, let's do it one more time. Please repeat after me. 하나, 한, 둘, 두, 셋, 세, 넷, 네. Excellent. Now, let's learn how to use the number. The first is an expression used when counting the numbers of objects. When using it, you only need a add k. After the numbers, k means nothing in English. In English, we put numbers in front of things. For example, with an apple. In English, it is three apple, but in Korean, is, it is apple three K. Please repeat after me. K. K. Okay. Good. How to use for example? How much ice cream did we just buy? I bought ice cream. 네 개. Let's eat tomorrow. Yes. This is how this word is used. The second is use the used to count the numbers of people. When using it, you only need to add 명. After the number, 명 means first and people. How to use, for example, how many people participate in the last swimming class? 10명 first place. This is how this word is used. Do you understand now? Now? Yes. Very good. This time, we will practice the word that we learned from last class today. Look at the English numbers and connect the correct Hangar numbers. First, 9, which is the correct Hangar number. I will give you 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes! The correct answer is the second. Please repeat after me. Please repeat after me. Ah, hope. 
ahub ahub second six which is the correct hunger number five four three two one yes the correct answer is the third please repeat after me 여섯 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 next thirty two which is the correct hunger numbers five four three two one yes the correct answer is the fourth Please repeat after me. Two. 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 Good job. Next. Fourth. Fourteen. Which is correct hunger number? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is the first. Please repeat after me. Yarnet. 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 Very good. How is it? It is easy. Then let's make it a little harder. First, ain't it two? Ain't it two? Ain't it two? Which is the correct hunger number? I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is third. Please repeat after me. Yodun tul. Yodun tul. Yodun tul. Good. Second, sixty one. Sixty one. Sixty one. Which is the correct? Hunger numbers five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is the first. Please repeat after me. Yesun Hana. Yesun Hana. Yesun Hana. Next. Third, ninety-eight, ninety-eight, ninety-eight. Which is the correct hunger number? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is second. Please repeat after me. Ahun yoder. Ahun yoder. Ahun yoder. Very good. Next, fourth, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Which is the correct hunger number? Five, four, three. Two, one. Yes, the correct answer is the fourth. Please repeat after me. Sumur ilgu. Sumur ilgu. Sumur ilgu. Excellent. Please look at the sentence and please select O. If it is correct, and X. 
if it is incorrect. I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the correct answer is X. K is on expressions use the count the things. The, the expressions use the count people is 명. Now, we've learned native Korean numbers so far. It is difficult, so it is look, looks like there are some people who cannot follow well. Read and write the numbers you learned today over and over again. And don't forget to leave it. Everyone, don't give up. Until now, this is how been Kaun and Grace. How was it guys? Did you like the class? Today, we learned native Korean numbers. Then, let's review what we learned today. 하나, 한, 둘, 두, 셋, 셋, 넷, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열, 열, 스물, 서른, 마흔, 쉰, 예순, 일흔, 여든, 아흔, 백. When counting scenes, 한 개, 두 개, 세 개, 네 개, 다섯 개. When counting people, 한 명, 두 명, 세 명, 네 명, 다섯 명. How was it? Do you get it now? Good. Today's homework is to write the words you learned today 10 times, 10 times, and record your voice reading Korean numbers. Please refer to the PDF that we gave. Next time, we will learn the words related to time. Really? I can't wait! Do you guys want to learn too? Then we have to join our class next time. Sounds good. Thank you very much for attending our class today. And I'm Ryan. And I'm Daisy. See you next time.